how to connect up your header tank. So first of all, we're gonna connect up the mains water, which is a 15 mil mains water pipe going into the back of the header tank just here. We're gonna use a half inch BSP fitting, which is half inch to 15 mil. Basically screw it on, making sure it's nice and tight uh, so we don't have any leaks. We're then gonna use a small piece of 15 mil push fit pipe which pushes in nicely, home, making sure there's no leaks. We're then gonna use a 15 mil uh, nice degree bend. Again, pushing home, making sure it's nice and fits nice and tightly. And then all you do then is connect up your 15 mil mains water pipe in nicely. Make sure when cutting the pipe, you use a professional pair of pipe cutters. Okay, connecting up your rainwater to your header tank, which is number two on the instructions. For demonstration purposes, I am using a 22 mil elbow, but you can use 22 mil straight, depending on where you situate your header tank. Basically, push on, making sure it's home and there is no leaks. Then using your 22 mil plastic or copper, depending on what you're using, connect up to your rainwater making sure it's home and no leaks. Just like to point out, these two parts here are factory fitted, so there is no need to try and remove or connect any other pipe work to it. Okay, we're now gonna connect up the 40 mil overflow, which is number four on your instructions. This must be in 40 mil pipe going outside of the building, so if the header tank was ever to overflow, it's not gonna go into the loft, it's gonna pour outside of the house and you'll be able to see that there's an issue. 40 mil connector. We push it nicely on, making sure it's nice and tight. You're then gonna use 40 mil pipe and you're gonna push that in home nice and tight, making sure that the pipe, like I said, goes outside of the building. So you've now connected up your rainwater, your mains and your overflow to the header tank. You've then partially filled your header tank, making sure that there is no leaks. It's now time to connect up the sensor bar, which is number three on your instruction manual. Just a quick visual inspection, making sure that the sensor bar is in its clips and it's nicely secured. You're then gonna take the end of the sensor bar cable and you're gonna take the end of your Cat5, which was supplied with the kit, and you're basically going to plug it in, making sure that it clicks in and it's nice and high.